Rasty McGibbon with Sioux College, Women's Division II player Zoe Weaver. Zoe, thanks for coming on. Thank you. Um, your first year. Yes. Your first nationals. Yeah. You um, are in a program with uh, a heritage, um, and you probably have come to the Sioux um, riding in on the exploits of last year in a national championship. Yeah. How, how cool has that been? Uh, it's been really awesome. Like, obviously, there's a lot of pressure for us, like, first years coming in. But the team is, like, such a tight-knit group. And everyone has been so awesome and supportive in, like, getting us to this point and pushing us to, like, always be better and to get here. When you got to the Sioux, you realized, um, first of all, for you, leaving Barry, um, that's home, heading up to the Sioux, um, how, how much of a exciting thing was it for you just to be able to continue to play hockey while you're working on a nursing degree? Yeah, honestly, it's awesome. Just, just that opportunity on its own to like continue for more years of hockey is something that like a year ago or two years ago, I never would have even like imagined. Like I thought I was kind of done after minor hockey. So just that opportunity on its own has been really awesome. So, so when you, when, you know, like two years ago, you just thought it was over. Then you find out about Sue, you find out about the ACHA, and it's almost like you've gotten a new lease on life. Yeah. How exciting was that? It was really exciting. And like to know that I was taking a program that I had originally wanted to take anyways. So I was already going into nursing. It was just a matter of where. And then when obviously when I find out I can play hockey for four more years, I that was the best choice. How hard is it to balance the demands um, I took a first aid course a long time ago. I know that first aid, you know, first aid healthcare can be challenging. How hard is it to balance the demands of a nursing degree with playing hockey? Uh, honestly, it's a lot. It gets like obviously some days harder than others, but just gotta manage your time and squeeze things in. And like even the days that obviously you don't want to do anything, you just gotta push yourself to figure it out. Like get up and get things done. Now you probably don't know this, okay? You probably are the first person from Barrie that is an academic All-American. Did you know that? <laughs> Did not Yeah, know that. yeah, you're probably an academic All-American because you're a 4.0 and you're in the ACHA, so that's that's super exciting. Do, do, do you find that um, you are supported by the team in your academic endeavors? I mean, do, you know, they give you the time they need, they give you the resources you need to be academically successful? Yeah, for sure. We, we're given so many resources, like, right. to reach out if we need them. We, uh, we're in study hall once a week, and that gives us even extra resources around the school. There's always people available if we need. Um, actually, the captain of last year, who's one of our coaches, she finished nursing. Okay. So she's been a great help. Like if I just have questions about certain like assignments or certain profs or just like little tips, she's been really nice to go to for that too. How, how, how do you think that the opportunity for yourself to, to play on, um, it, which you know kind of comes through Sue through the ACHA. Um, do, you, do you think now that you can be an advocate for young women that are done high school hockey and really don't know that there is a next step? Yeah, I think it's well. We've been working a lot with the younger girls in the Sioux, like Sioux female hockey, and just like going out and meeting them. And we did a little um, skills competition at a girls tournament, and we're gonna help with this house league tournament as well. Just like coach the girls. I think it like gives them something to look forward to. Like especially like coming here. Like like I said, like two three years ago, I had no idea that this was even like an option. Like it wasn't even in the back of my head. Like I had no clue. So I think it's really nice that we're able to like. Like showcase that for younger girls so that they actually have something to reach for and like they can make their dreams come true. So I know you've heard about it. Your team was here two years ago. Yeah. One last year in, in Boston. Has this lived up to your expectations hearing about the magnitude of the national tournament and now living it and being here? Yeah, honest it's unreal. Like obviously we've like it's the first thing that we ever talked about like from being here like we've talked about it all year like this is the end goal and everything but like you don't really fully understand like I feel like you can't really grasp it until you're here like we talk about it all the time and obviously all of our vets have been super great like we can ask them any questions and everything but you never really get it until you're here and see like how different the competition really is. How cool is it to 
go on a road trip this far <laughs> um, to, to get down into the States to see St. Louis. I mean, you know, it's not going to be this warm in Sioux until the middle of July. Yeah. So how, how cool is that? <laughs> it's really nice. It's been really fun just like getting to spend that extra time with the girls. We're already like a really close group, but it, you can see how just in a week, like it brings you so much closer together. And just like those memories that will last forever. Well, hey. Congratulations. Thank it's, you. it's awesome that you have uh, found uh, hockey after hockey when you thought yeah. it was over. And um, awesome things that Bree's doing with you ladies from uh, Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. Yeah. Uh, the only academic All-American I know from Barrie, Ontario. So that's, that's kind of cool too. <laughs> this is Zoe Weaver, Women's Division II, Sioux College.